All right, let's get started with this. <clears throat> well, it's been a long time coming, but I think now is when I want to start this. No signal. Yes, because it's loading in the front menu screen. All right. So, this takes me back. <laughs> it's been a few years. Red Dead Redemption 2. This game still seems relatively new to me, but this year it's going to be five years old. And that kind of blows my mind a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, so if anyone who's been paying attention to the channel for the past couple years, maybe, has known, or if you're new here and you've looked back at like my playlists and such. So I did some Red Dead 2 stuff early in the channel in 2019 and that was all purely just me screwing about on stream on twitch that was pretty much just me doing hunting trips quote unquote and just screwing about seeing what kind of things i can get into those were intentionally very chill things that i just wanted to do over the summer that year and it lasted eight parts. And then I just kind of... I kind of ended it on the eighth part. I was kind of content with what I had done with the game at that point. I wasn't really interested in starting a new file. Because I had just finished the game that... In early January of that year. I, I played the game nonstop from when it released in late October of 2018. Through like the first week or maybe second week of... January of 2019 when I beat the game finally and then I put I put it down I dropped it hard I, I dropped it like a newborn giraffe and moved on to other things and then when I started uh, like trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the channel and such on Twitch specifically I was just like what kind of game is comfy that I can play over the summer that I can just mindlessly mess about with. Red Dead 2 came to mind. So I ended up playing it. And that lasted that summer, and that was that, and I haven't really touched the game since then, to be honest. So it's been a few years since I've really played Red Dead 2, which is bizarre to me to even say, because this game... The story... The reason I'm picking this up now is that the story is starting to fade for me. I don't remember a lot of the plot anymore. And I don't remember, like, I remember a lot of central plot points, like characters dying and a few events and such, like the, the uh, bank heist in Lagra. Also, spoilers, this is a spoilers playthrough. I've already played through the game. Most people who've seen this game or played through this game already know the story. So, if you're looking for some fresh new thing, no, that's not this. I'm just playing through this, just for fun. <laughs> And to refresh myself, the same way I've done Witcher 3. View it like that if you've seen my Witcher 3 thing, where it's just going to be me playing through the game again that I already know and love, and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think that's the preface. I think that's the preface of what, the contextual preface for all this. So, enough dawdling. I already, I booted up my PS4 for the first time in... Two months, because last time I used it was for Firewatch, I believe. And even when I booted up Firewatch, I didn't bother to connect to the internet with my PS4. So right now, if you see a bunch of like Ghost of Tsushima, update file, Gran Turismo, update file, Dreams, update file, Horizon Zero Dawn, update file. You see all that? If that like blips up on the screen, just ignore it. I have like 10 or plus games that are updating their files right now. No Man's Sky's file is freaking massive. <laughs> it's like 14 gigabytes. So, yeah. I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to delete? Is this a game where I have to delete my save file? Is this gonna be a stupid thing where I should have checked this before I started? It's gonna be one of those, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those games where I have... It so it was between here's, here's a bit more background of behind the scenes stuff with the channel and what I'm doing and such for this magic is <clears throat> my voice is tired today I did some talking 
And I also took a nap before this, so I'm a bit groggy. <laughs> but uh, I've been debating the past couple days to do either a replay through of Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PS5, because I recently picked up a copy of that for the PS5, and the one that's been featured on the channel already has been the PS4 version. And so it was between that, replaying the game from scratch for that, which I started to record a little bit of and scrapped it because I realized that my PS5 synced with my PS4's file. So I immediately just loaded into my PS4 save and I can just create a new file, sure, but I didn't figure out how to do that because it was like cloud saves and all this other not auto save nonsense. So. I ended up just messing around in Assassin's Creed Valhalla for like two hours on my own and didn't record anything. Uh, game's still great. Game's still, game is still fantastic. This game, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a saving non saving nonsense here. Probably, because it didn't prompt me to load a save file. So I'm assuming it's just going to load me back in to Red Dead 2 at some point when I last played it. Huh. Yeah, it did. Well. Welcome to part nine of the Red Dead 2 hunting stuff from three years ago. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. It's it's nice to see Arthur again. Oh, and my old weapons. Oh, yeah, I, I liked how Arthur looked. I, li I, I want to try and get Arthur to look like... Well, this is John. Arthur's dead. Spoilers. But... I liked how Arthur... I like this outfit I gave the character. I really like it for some reason. It's just iconic to me for the character. It's the same way I like how Geralt looks most of the time and how I dress him up. I may as well use this time to get reacclimated with the... controls. Okay, so square is jump. That is a pitiful tiny jump. Look at... <laughs> Look at this tiny hop! Oh, that is sad. Okay, left stick is crouch. Mashing the X button is run. Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. Circle doesn't seem to do anything. He's like raising his... I think, I think circle button is combat, but I need to be near somebody to do that. Uh, left. Left one is the weapon select. Left two is lock on. Right one doesn't appear to do anything. Okay. And right two is the gun. Please do not report me, sir, over there. I'm, I'm firing blanks out into the open. Let's have him eat a plant. Eat a plant! Do it! Oh yeah. Rip it out of the ground. You just ate Mother Nature. Wild carrots. Have I never eaten a wild carrot in this game before? Anyway, okay, okay. I think I get the gist of the controls. We'll be playing from the start again, so we'll get all the tutorial stuff anyway, but nice to get a little head start on that, I guess. Game still looks very good. There's a bit of a vignette going on around the edge of the screen, which I see. I didn't. I don't remember seeing that on my old TV, but it is here. It, it does. It's not bothering me too much, but it does kind of create this weird like. Well, it is. It is a literal shadow effect, so it's just kind of strange to see in a game. But it works. It makes it more cinematic. Alright, so... I need to figure out the save situation. So, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna split it right here. And I'll be right back once I do... Five minutes of research on whether or not I can keep this file. Or if I have to delete it. Which, if I have to delete it, I'm gonna be so sad. 
So be right back. Right, so I did find out, and I can start it from here. So I already did a manual save, but the story menu in the menu is the save system. I did, I did not remember that. So, yeah, start a new game. There are multiple save slots, so I'm totally good. I, I can keep my old file and start a new one. Moose. That's a moose. Moose are terrifying, to be honest. Now these massive... If you've ever seen a moose in real life, they're, they're giant and scary and can easily kill you. It's gonna be weird. I haven't seen a playthrough and I don't... I haven't seen, like, the beginning of this game in years since the game came out pretty much. I think the last playthrough I was watching at the time I think it was like around the time I stopped playing the game was in like January of 2019 so I haven't seen the beginning of this game in years. It's still so bizarre of me to it's so bizarre to me to say that this game is years old. It's like saying Breath of the Wild like Breath of the Wild's a year older than this game and that all to be honest, Breath of the Wild is almost two years older than this game because it came out in early 2017. This came out in late 2018, so it's just weird to me to think. By 1899, the Age of Outlaws and Gunslingers was at an end. It's just weird to me to think of these games as being like five, six years old or so. Time flies, man. America was becoming a land of laws. How dare it! Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games presents. It presents what? Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know why I'm whispering. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Yeah, this is not ringing bells. Oh right, we're in the we're in the north. I yeah, I haven't seen this intro since the first time I played the game. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. I'm also gonna say it's gonna be weird. Seeing these characters that I know are gonna die. It's weird seeing them still alive. There he is. Am I gonna bring back my old shitty Arthur Morgan voice I did for like the first two years? Probably not. I don't wanna... I hate that voice. Like, I... Eh. Dutch! <laughs> Chapter 1, Coulter. Yeah, this is the tutorial. There's no one here, man. I can chill. Put the gun away. Oh, it's Hosea. Bring him in here. Jose. I think that's how they pronounce his name. 
Dutch. Dutch! Finding me again, huh? I said I wasn't gonna do the voice. Get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. <laughs> Nothing more you could have done. I don't know why that's funny to me. It's just the bluntness. It's just like, David's dead. <laughs> Put coins on his eyes. Give him wealth in the afterlife. John and Micah scouting out ahead. Micah. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out. See if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. Just for a short bit. It'll be fine, Arthur. It'll be fine. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had well, a bad couple of days. A little. It's just a little bit I bad. Loved Davey. Jenny. Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead. I'd do it. Gladly. Liar. But Oh, at this point maybe. I uh, we, we don't have a whole lot of backstory on Dutch's character before this, so we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this. Dutch's character development happens over the course of this game, so we're gonna be we're gonna be long gone. This is this is kind of before he's Totally screwed up and insane. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. Like he's still a proper Keep gang leader here. Now all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. No shit, Stay it's cold, dude. <laughs> We're in the north. Stay with me. I'm. We ain't done yet. I don't know where they could even go. Dutch, even if they wanted to leave. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Hmm. Hey. You need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. Need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out. Oh, I'm immediately stuck on something. Fun. Not even a minute into gameplay, and I get stuck on something. That bears a bad omen. Right, so today I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get through Coulter. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna get much more progress than the tutorial stuff today. So it'll be pretty lo it should be pretty low-key today, roughly. There'll be action and such because that's in the tutorial, but... He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkertons telling us... Pinkertons! I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> oh, right, I this. Well, you didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or 
was here. And Mac, Sean, we don't know quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, my I'm sure you are, Dutch. You two are gonna have a fun romance by the end of this story. You'll be fine. That's the thing. I I, te I tease and riff on some of the voice acting, but I do it out of love. I love the voice acting in this game so much. These are some of the best performances I've ever seen for VAs in a video game. Talk to me. Keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. <laughs> okay. Let's head down there. Such a peaceful little farmstead. Health is displayed in the lower left corner. Dutch, you should put out your lantern. You told us to. Right, I forget we're going to have a shootout. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Yeah. yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. You want me over here, man? All right. Our one is to take cover. Log Dutch Vanderlyn. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, Mister. I got. What is it, Micah? Oh. Okay, we're getting started here. Dutch. Why? <laughs> Why the Otriscals? Smells like a party. Turn the 
place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We All right. Essentials: food, medicine, whiskey. Whiskey. Baked beans. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Okay, this opens the satchel. Let's have those beans. Delicious. Biscuits. Lovely biscuits. There's so much food here. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Grab anything you think Jack and Sadie Wedding. 1896. So this is a few years ago in game. There's not a whole lot of food in here, to be honest. I will say this is a decent tutorial for showing you the places you should look to find things. Inspect card. I want to see what this is. Jolly Jolly Jack cigarettes. Amazing inventions. Okay, is there anything up top? There is. Uh, I'm looking around, man. Just let me finish searching the place. Like, seriously, man, chill. I think that's about it, to be honest, though. Yep, I'm already uh, I remember this. I'm already ahead of you, man. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> Party! <laughs> I love Dutch here. <laughs> What's going on, fellas?
Where's Como Trisco? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. He's actually right about that. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Whoa. Uh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please, spare me. I'm, I'm going to spare this guy. I don't know if that was the right or wrong decision, but I rem I don't remember sparing him when I first played the game. So, I'm going to try something a little different, just see what happens with that. You're okay, boy. Micah, what the hell, man? Miss, now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, please. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Whoa. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And can't stay here. Yeah, there's not gonna be much of a here left. them so it's okay figure out what you want to do what's your name miss miss adler adler sadie adler mrs I... he he was my husband well there he is The ways of the West are always wild. Hey, somebody's coming. Unpredictable. Looks like Nobody knows good. what'll happen out here. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he, he burned it down. Home <laughs> Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. There's old Driscolls in these hills. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, 
we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bale, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Yeah, John is. John is strong. He's not very smart. He's smart in his own way. Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but it's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two. Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... Yes, Javier, oh. come on. Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed Good look for me thank you this way miss grimshaw you shouldn't be sleeping right next to the door you're probably going to get frostbite still for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back you wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Yeah. I'm still in that's that's the thing. I I love how this game looks. It looks so beautiful. I I'm I'm just thinking I'm thinking to myself I'm like what what recent games have I played compared to this? Somebody left recently, and that way. Sure, well, come on then. All right. There's some tracks leading to the river. Is there anything here I can actually pick up? Can I get off the horse? No, hold on, Javier. I want to look. Hold hold on, man. I'm, give me a moment. Javier is impatient. Hours ago, most. There. Javier, shut the fuck up. I'm I'm right here. Stop pestering me, man. Chill. Have some chill. We are in a frozen wasteland, and you're not chill right now. Not that way. I'm following you. My God, is Javier annoying here? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money; it seemed fine. Then suddenly, they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. The Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. Ah, eh, Sean will be fine. Sean will be totally fine. We're only just holding on. Bad business, all right. 
bad business out here in the wild west. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Nah, eh, we're gonna lose them because of the plant life and gravel. You know, you have to wonder about John's thinking. Why was he climbing the mountain? Why... What, did he think he'd get warmer by getting closer to the sun or something? <laughs> I wouldn't put that behind him, but still. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for him to cross up a mountain. If you think about it. If even if... Even... If he had very little geographical knowledge of how to move about the planet you should just be moving horizontally, not vertically. This dude's moving vertically. I don't get why he climbed this mountain. What did he expect to find up here? No. Oh, you talking this other campsite, I guess? Or, oh, it's his horse. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think you can go much further on the horses. You have to walk from here. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? I don't believe a whole lot of anything, but still. Okay, can I grab the shot? This is the biggest complaint I have with this game, probably. I'm gonna pause. With this game in general, they never fixed any of this stuff, and it's annoyingly finicky as crap. I don't- I don't believe they fixed any of this. If they- if in- since 2019, if they actually fixed this stuff, I'd be amazed. But the horse weapon situation has always been an annoyance, and if you watch my old Red Dead stuff, You'll probably see a few instances of it. I don't remember if any of it does happen, but there's probably a couple instances of it happening. I remember it being annoying as crap during my full self-playthrough uh, before I did the channel or anything when I initially played this game. Is just... Specifically, the rifles always love to get stuck on the horse. You'll have your rifles on you and do some story missions, some side missions and such, and then randomly out of the blue, you'll get off your horse to do something else, and you just won't have your rifles, and that's because they're magically on the horse for some reason. So then you left your horse a, a while back, and you have to go back to your horse and manually take your weapons off your horse and go back to what you were doing. And that happened at quite some inopportune times throughout my playthrough quite frequently. And that was one of the most annoying... I thought it was a glitch. And I know other people who have played this game who have had the same thing happen to them a lot. And it's just... I don't know if it's an oversight. If it's a game design choice, why? Why was that a game design choice? It's really annoying, obnoxious, and horrible. <laughs> so... I'm trying to figure out what the crap's going on here. It's not letting me choose... Okay, so it wants me to... Oh, so the sawed-off shotgun. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, if it's a shotgun, it would be my long arm. But no, this this is a sidearm, yeah.
And I get that right there is to teach you how to take weapons on and off the horse, but it's... The horse weapon thing is so finicky and... Borderline, it feels like it's a glitch, but I don't think it is. Regardless, I don't... I highly doubt they ever fixed it. Or made it better. So if and I get off my horse and I complain about my weapon not being on me for some reason, that is... That is... I'm prefacing it right there. That is why this whole stupid horse situation with the weapons. It's just a thing. Like, seriously, what is John doing up here? He had to go through all this. These guys have to have some pretty good core strength to do that. Just pull vault yourself up over this mountain constantly. How you doing? I'm miserable. <laughs> a few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John! Johnny! Marsh! Over here! Marsh Stomp. That's John! We're gonna find a Marsh Stomp up here. This is because this is gonna suddenly become Pokemon. Pokemon in real life. John Marsh Stomp. you got there never thought I'd say this but good to see you Arthur Morgan <laughs> you don't look so good I don't feel too good neither I'm freezing don't die just yet cowboy Do we have to go back down the whole mountain again? Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sack? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. <laughs> Oh, lovely wolves. Look up there. That is funny. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. That is... Here's a funny thing. I don't remember where, but I heard many years ago that there's never been an actual reported death in the wild of somebody from a wolf attack in North America. So every time, for some reason, that factoid, which may or may not be true, has stuck with me forever. And anytime I see, like, uh, what, what's another thing? Uh, Beauty and the Beast, when there's, like, the wolf. I get that's Europe, but still, just like Beauty and the Beast, the wolves attacking the carriage at the beginning. Scenes like this, where it's just wolves attacking people. I'm, I'm just like, that doesn't seem... It, it, just on the surface, even just knowing the animals, it's like, it doesn't really seem realistic. It's just a cop-out to have some sort of intense animal attacking people. 
I don't know. It's probably happened at some point, but it's it's just funny to me when scenes like this happen because it just doesn't seem realistic to me. It's like, oh, a wolf attack. Here they come. They're going to kill us because we're people and we can be eaten. Hey, look at this. They're just beelining. Right in the head. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Ring around the rosy. Can I, like, skin them? No. There's a lot of blood. How do I... No, no. How do I, uh, re... How do I reload? Hold on, guys. I want to figure out how to reload. Okay, circle. That, that's a necessary thing I need to know, is how to manually reload. Yeah, yeah, we're going, man. You don't look too good, man. Well, that dog obviously had rabies then, but... How long does rabies take to set in? I thought it was a couple days. Four coming down the hill. Shoot the TIE Fighters! Whoa, whoa, running into trees, okay. More coming from the rear. Drop altitude. Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None it, of us are lucky. You could right say now. you're lucky for still being alive right now, man. Sure ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're going to need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. <laughs> Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Darlan! Go and help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? Civilization? The West is where our problem is worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Herr Strauss, you're gonna cause so many problems. You're causing, you're gonna cause so many problems and ruin Arthur's life. You're gonna ruin so many lives. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? 
Why'd you break the mirror, dude? What did that mirror do to you? Oh, I can search the drawer. I don't need the health care. Oh, maybe I do. What's my health right now? My health is... I'll drink it. It didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I have another. We just gotta get more money. Okay, no, they do pronounce his name Hosea. Right, so now we get to do two different missions. I think I want to do the one uh, for Bill first. Bill is in this house. Bill is the cook of the gang. How's it going, Javier? On the lamb, Micah. The lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You wanna sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. You think now is the right time to hit a train. Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. <laughs> There's O'Driscolls about in these woods. Stop All right. Oh, we're doing this one. Okay, we're going for them. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. Okay, so I, I, don't, I thought this was a different one. I must have been thinking about the other mission. We're going right for them right now. Okay. be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. We I always do. Time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him and people you love will die. This feud between you and him. Needs to be put to rest. 
one way or another. <laughs> it will be. This is the location of a rare horse, if I remember. There's like a there's like a very rare horse that appears here. I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Judge. Yes, I did. He did. Hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right. We got smoke up ahead. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. We gonna get him. We gonna get him good. Hold up here. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, 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 okay. I thought we were going already. Are we goddamn ready? I guess now that I'm back on my horse. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Esquela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Okay, now we now we are cordially invited to get off of our horses. Once Dutch does. Oh man, it's like Breath of the Wild. There's gonna be a zoom out and we're gonna see the whole mountainside. You can climb that mountain. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. The one with the funky walk. The swagger walk. Yeah, that's calm. Yeah, I recognize his mannerisms from his movements. He's gonna slap that guy, right? Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, somehow I remembered that he slaps the shit out of that guy. <laughs> fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys It'd be nice if the rifle was already on my person, Dutch. That'd be real nice. Let's go with the pistol because it has more ammo. Like this, yeah, shotgun. I'm not gonna choose. Lantern, knife. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as. Or Micah, like you said, revenge. Is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now have some faith, Arthur. And a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Now, if you've seen other things I've done, like Ghost of Tsushima, Uncharted, Breath of the Wild... I think I might have talked about it way back when about Red Dead as well. But... These open-world action-adventure games and such... I tend to get a little confused about the control schemes. I think... I don't know why, but... 
similar to Breath of the Wild, and I don't know why, but my brain is associating this strongly with Breath of the Wild and how simple it is to just get the gist of its control scheme, whereas something like Ghost of Tsushima, it's still very similar to things like this, but for some reason, a single button swap or a menu swap or something just throws everything off kilter for me, and I take a couple like 10 minutes to get acclimated to it this you know, I don't know if it was just because I kind of jumped into the game already and Make got a little sorted about it but they're going to be gunning for you they ain't got me yet. this has oh, not been difficult for me to just kind of get the gist of it and oh, jump back in knowing how to use the controls I, like, I also like the world building. You can hear the guards over there complaining about a dude who went off hunting instead of doing guard duty. Small things. Stay low. Come on, follow me. There's a guy right there. That dude's looking right at us. Oh, wait, is that... Oh, that's Micah. I was like, that guard is doing a horrible job. What are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We are to move on this right now. Okay, fine. You make the move. That dude just fell over. Right in the head. I don't know how I shot that dude, but alright. I'll take it. I think I just shot that dude's testicles off. All right. I'm just like crawling forward. I did not even see where that dude was. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. And you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and still without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Tom doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Oh shit! Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the trees! They're coming out of the trees! Alright, they come in from this way. I see one.
Did that dude just get hit by his own horse? Oh, that's Micah. I can still shoot him, but still. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, that's... I think that's Bill. I don't know if there's like an auto lock on. I don't know if there's like an auto lock on thing for this game. I'm just gonna beat the crap out of this dude. Right in the gut. Yeah. Is that my hat or someone else's? No, this is mine. A lot of these guys thought this one tree would be very safe. Is anyone else? Is there any more corpses out here? Anything? Uh, is that someone? That is someone. That's also gonna be a big- if- if and somehow you've never seen this game. That's gonna be a big part of this, is just getting materials. In a, in a similar, you can view it like Breath of the Wild, actually, when you kill monsters and such. We are killing monsters, except they're just people. <laughs> so, yeah. We need money, we need ammo, food. I'm sorry, man, I'm kind of... I like the way that dude just kind of slid along the ground there when I'm right into him. <laughs> yes, we do, man, I'm kind of busy. I'm just going to ignore Dutch now. It's like, let, let me loot in peace, dude.
Don't know if there's anything up here. There is not. Now I know. Man, this town is crap. There is nothing here. Good workforce. Now, let's tear this place apart. I've already at, I'm, I'm, Is that what you wanted to say, Dutch? I've already been at it. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Gotta smell the dynamite. I want, what does dynamite even smell like? Wouldn't it just smell like powder? Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, we're done here. All of you boys, all of you, not a man down. Good work, fellers. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Outlaws for life. Yeah. Ride them high. Hoo ah. And Sean back riding with us, and I believe I know they will all be back. Uh, I'm pretty sure Max dead. Sean, we will find. Hmm, bullet in the head, you say? As I mentioned, Sean. <laughs> Irony. Nobody likes us. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. So you know that I know that you know that we know that he knows that I know. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. We're going to find an old Driscoll. Come back here. You can't ride forever. Your horse is going to get tired. You got the wrong feller. Mine. You are mine now. How many times am I going to release him? He, he's just standing there. I don't need to... Okay. 
Whatever. We're, we're just gonna tie up this guy. Hog time. Hoo -ah. No, he seemed pretty compliant. He, he was just standing there like, don't hurt me. We could have just invited him onto our horse. Ah, we 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 lost Kieran's hat. Stow him on the horse. Stow him in the horse's inventory. No, and he gets like sent inside the horse. What's your name, boy? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. You're gonna die a horrible fate later on, Kieran. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some pen you ain't gonna like. <laughs> so I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Kieran's the group punching bag. He dies a pretty horrible fate. I, I am. It is still fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. It, I'm not gonna mince words. It is a fucked up death. I feel sorry for this guy, to be honest. I feel sorry for a lot of the characters. That's the thing. You play this game and you get to know these characters, and yeah, they're they're bank robbers, they're outlaws and such. But you get to know them as people characters, and you feel sorry for some of them. By the time they die, you get sad. You get like real say like oh sh, just, you, like, not even just like in a shallow way, just like re a real way, just like. I got sad the first time I saw these guys die. Some of them, because they were they they become your bros after a while in this game. Oh, the boys are gonna love you. You're gonna have to suffer Bill Williamson's cooking. Don't hurt Wait, no, no, not Bill Williamson. Uh, Mr. Pearson. You're gonna have to suffer Mr. Pearson's cooking. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. We have five stars and a morning breakfast. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Right, now we gotta go do the mission for Pearson. I think I said earlier Bill was the cook. Bill's not the cook, he's just a dumbass. Pearson's the cook. <coughs> this, I believe, is the hunting okay, mission. Here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? 
time I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> uh, we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Charles is our bro. Charles, Char unironically, Charles is like one of the best characters in this game. Scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. A stupid mistake. Feel bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, careful. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a while. Days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in some storms, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just glad to think back on it. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Corresponding I level two. Been. Yes, yes, Charles, scream whoa while we're dismounting, while we're trying to quietly hunt some deer. This, this right here, this, this is the moment I've been waiting for. My weapons are still on the frickin' horse.
Yeah, the game needs to stop taking it off my horse. Well, off my person. That's my horse. We don't really use the bow down a bit. virtually at all throughout the game. I think so. Maybe not. At least I never do. There's L3. Stick. Oh, them together. Okay, I remember this, the eagle eye thing. The bootleg Assassin's Creed uh, eagle eye. I see him. There. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Yeah, but I need to like get close enough. Quick and clean. Put good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Now, Arthur. That's okay. Let's try again. Shh. Unlucky. Take your time. There's one over there. There are two. Two of them. From downtown. Yep, it did not make it. So now we get to do the graphic part of hunting. We get to take it down. Yeah. Sorry, man. Where is my nice little horsey? There it comes, prancing around in the snow. Charles is still trying to load it on. It's going to take him a minute to get on his horse. <laughs> he got stuck on it for a second.
All right. What? Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. What, what is the game doing? It's like trying to auto track me onto the road, but it was messing up. We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, so maybe our luck's finally on the turn. No, it's not. Everything is completely downhill from here, Arthur. I like how his answer is, this is a big country, they'll never find us, it's too big. We got plenty of space. I need to look up what that food is. What is salt and awful? I don't know what it is. Probably not good, given they hate it. Yeah, that's also going to be a recurring thing, is bears. Bears in this game are terrifying. And will kill us pretty quickly. That he is. Most you do. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. 
Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of them. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Yeah, he, he sure does. How's that new horse? He's alright. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! Easy. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. We will master the well, bow. Well, well. Here, Pearson, here's your meat. Just drop it down in here. What Just on the ground, rub it into the dirt. Camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? Hey, hey uncle. We haven't spoken for days. I do my How's your lumbago? It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> Give the rest of the hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You oh boy, now we get to dissect it. Okay, graphic warning. If you're squeamish. Yeah, we just peel it like a banana. We just peel it like a banana. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Check. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Don't need it. In a tough few days. <sighs> a few days later. Dutch and his plans. Plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? He was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. Arthur, I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. <laughs> just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He can see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Just deride him in front of his son. Yeah, you ride ahead and 
set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Uh, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for Oh, he's a big old tycoon. More than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Hoorah. Here, here we go. Uh, Arthur's horse kind of jostled there weird. That was, that was very strange. All right, are, we, are we really going to do the train heist right now? Man, th how long have I been doing this? Uh, an hour and a half for the tutorial so far. This is going a lot faster than I remember it, but maybe it's just because I have some sort of knowledge of the game already. Yeah, we're going to do the train right now. Jesus. Okay, that was. R this is way earlier than I thought. Yeah. Keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move past. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. This is gonna go smooth as butter, ain't it? No, it's not. It's not gonna go smooth. There was a forest fire here at one point. The trees are all dead. Man, I am I'm sad knowing some of these characters die. Lenny, man. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. Well, you're never gonna see it, Micah. Yeah, he's down there. I, I'm pointing at the screen like a dumbass right now. I'm like, there he is, he's down there. <laughs> I can just like fall down this, can't I? Like I can. 
<laughs> Stop laughing at me. I'm sorry. I slipped. You done having fun out here, Bill? How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of are, course. Are you really sure? Can I help a little? Just, just a little bit. All right. Oh, thank Go you. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I'm not gonna lie, this seems awful close. This seems very close to that dynamite to have this box set up. Okay, this is good. I feel like you need to be on top of that hill or something, dude, not down here. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Uh, can I get to my horse? Can I get to my horse? I guess I don't get my rifle for this. Because it's on the horse. Ah, uh, no, no, it's equipped it to me, so maybe... Maybe. We'll see. Here comes the train. Gentlemen, it's time. It's magic carpet on a rail. Never takes a rest. Riding through the... Ashes in the snow. I'm just improvising lines. You can ride for free if you just say yes, because that's the way things happen on the Polar Express. <laughs> Bill, you had one job. You're pathetic. You know that. That was a, that was a fantastic line read. I had to repeat it. Okay, we're, we're jumping. Here we go, here we go. Me and the boys jumping onto trains. Javier's dead. No, he's fine. Help. Lenny! Hey, down here! I've got you. Now stop yelling. Papa, help me! Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? But Lenny, Lenny, now is not the time to play the harp. How did this guy die? Who is he? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna loot. I'm gonna take some candy. Okay, now we're, we're starting this. We moving up? Yep. Kind of busy, Lenny. We best get up there. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, we got someone. Conductor! Throw him over! Oh man, we almost threw him over the cliff. Got his hat off. Point blank in the forehead. Oh, they're out here too. What what just happened to that guy? Did he fall? Took so many shots just to get at that guy. Arthur's just done with this. He's like, yeah, let's just get the money and go, man. Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Catching up. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now, Here light the go. fuse. All right, time to go boom. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back. Run away. <laughs> kind of ruined that by... Trying to select weapon, but all right. All right, come on. There's one run out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My we oh just my. want to rob your bar. Get on up. Search that train. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. 
should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation. Wapiti. Wapiti Station. Oh man, a Firewatch connection. Wow. Amberino. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898, on receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, Head of Accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. Oh, Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received about mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The cool industry... Oh, the cool... <laughs> I misread that as cool. The cool industry. Radical. Bodacious. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and evacuate, oh, e evacuate, educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence with yours sincerely. Archibald Jameson. Bonds. Yep. Think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Gunslinger, gunslinger card, Emmett Granger. Oh, this is like the first, one of the, I was going to say first, I think it was the first dude, because there's a bunch of gunslingers in this game, legendary gunslingers that you can get little story beats with and get weapons from them, like special custom weapons and other things from them. And he's one of the first ones I went for last time. Anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you! Let's ride! Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Get a move on! I think now is a good time to loot the rest of the train. Nothing else. Stop standing on the furniture, Arthur. Yeah, I'm still confused about, did Lenny kill this dude when we first entered? 
because this guy was just dead. It's a nice piano. No, don't pick him up. Drop the body. Loot it. I know some people don't care for the slow, realistic movements of this game. I don't mind it, to be honest. I actually kind of enjoy it, just because... I don't know. It's chill. When I'm playing a game like this, I'm not specifically in much of a hurry. That's why I like doing Breath of the Wild and... Valhalla, Black Flag, any of these kind of games. I like to just kind of take in the world itself. If in I'm not trying to play a game, like if I'm trying to play a game on like a tight time constraint, I'm generally not going to play a game like this. I'm going to play something else. I think we should be wrapping up the tutorial then. Yeah, we're about two hours into this, and we're, that was pretty much like the climax of the tutorial, if I remember right. I think we're just leaving Coulter now and heading out towards Valentine. Yep, that's what we're doing. We got our hat back. We were missing it. We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, there is some music done by professional musicians and such in this game. This is one of them, I think. I hope it doesn't get claimed on YouTube. If it does, uh, the EULA will fix that. So, yeah. Still. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm. Now announced at the Game Awards 2023, the Oregon Trail. It's the Oregon Trail as you've never seen it in this gritty reboot of the classic simulation game.
Magic speed of the caravan. Literally Oregon Trail moment right now. <laughs> yep. We forded the river. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Oh, there goes whatever that is. Broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Bash the wheel. Nearly there. there. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Humpst. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of uh, through people. politics, I guess. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. When I'm 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? I think so. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going, 
Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Yeah. What are you... Arthur, you stole the words out of my mouth. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Deer, run away. Is it up over here? We should be getting rather close, I think. Thanks. That was a very awkward thanks, Arthur. It was very like, oh, okay, uh, sure. Yeah, here we are. This will be camp for a while. While we're doing stuff in Valentine. For the, fir for the first couple chapters of this adventure. If we don't tip over the wagon... Fair now. You were wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive, kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. <laughs> and now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again. Head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. <laughs> of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow now everyone put your tools down for a moment come on gather around quickly now we got a very special birthday to announce today <laughs> but we are safe now and we are far too poor so it is time i forgot pearson wears a top hat to work. get to work but stay out of trouble remember we are itinerant work laid off when they shut down our factory to the north now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. 
one of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Savage. All right, yeah, we're out of the tutorial. Chapter 2. Horseshoe Overlook. Now the game starts. This is the moment when... Like, the in Assassin's Creed, this would be the moment when, like, the Assassin's Creed logo pops up. A couple weeks later. And the triumphant music plays, and it does a big pan out of the world you can explore. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Simple. Clean. Wholesome. Beatrice Morgan, 1870. It's Arthur's mama. Zoological Compendium. How do I use the shaving kit? Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, clean shaven. There we go. Smooth is best. As is in real life. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How's it going? Each day, Pearson will make stew, which you can eat from the pot at. Well, you can eat at the pot, whatever, whatever. You can. Mr. Pearson's gonna make some stew every day. We're gonna get tired of it real quick. So, what time is it? I think I'm actually gonna stop here today and... Next time, we will actually go out and do some things. We got a we got a quest for Uncle. Who who do we have quests for? Where's the map? There's the map. So we got a quest for Uncle. We got a quest for ooh the Reverend Swanson one. I I like that one a lot. We got to save his ass because he's being stupid. And who is this one for? Javier. So we got a mission for Javier, we got a mission for Uncle, and we got a mission for Swanson. Yeah, so all this up here, this was where we just were at with the, the snow. Where's Coulter? This is where we had the shootout with the O'Driscolls. 
This is that lake we kept going around. There's Coulter up here. There's the Adler Ranch where it caught fire and we got Sadie. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. Yep, so this is... This was the uh, previous file. 82.3% complete. This one is 7.1% complete. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. Back into Red Dead 2 after many years. So. I think that's it. Uh, oh, I do want to say the save date for the previous save file before I saved today was... Uh, it was when I last played it back in 2019. That that was funny to see. as I booted up the game. I was like, oh. 2000... Uh, like, September of 2019... Jeez, it was the last time I played this game, which was the part eight of the original videos, which now I'm going to have to put this one as Red Dead Redemption 2 on the channel. I'm going to have to rename the old stuff to like Red Dead Redemption 2 streams or... So, so I got to come up with a, a secondary name for those because these are going to be a separate thing. This is, this is going to be like a beginning... This is going to be like playthrough stuff of random... Random randomness. Instead of continuing off of what the other stuff was. Because that was entirely separate. So, yeah. I got, I got to figure that out in post. But, yeah. So, yeah. I can say, yeah, many times. Starting this game up again. Pleased that I got through the tutorial stuff today. We'll continue next time with some missions and probably some random happenstance that occurs. Who knows? Who knows with this game? There is a lot of... That's the thing that... I'll just go off on a little side tangent. The video's done for now. Continue on to the next one if you don't want to hear this. But One thing that I have a little bit of a gripe with with Red Dead 2 in the post game is after you get done with... Maybe it's just because I did so much in my initial playthrough of the game. But once I got done with the John stuff post-game, there wasn't a whole lot left for me to do with it. Which, to be honest, is why I didn't do a whole lot. I did eight parts of it in 2019, of just the random hunting stuff, because the, I, I was doing that stuff because there wasn't a whole lot left to do in the game. And that won't be the case with this because everything's brand new again. And I don't remember as much as I did back then. But yeah, the, one, the post game for this game is pretty bare bones once you've beaten the main campaign and you've done enough side stuff. So yeah I, i'm looking forward to this i'm looking for i remember a lot of insanity i remember a bear i remember the legendary bear pelt that i got with hosea in the story because that's something we'll have to do eventually that i remember getting that bear pelt and then riding back to camp and then randomly an odriscoll like caravan like a carriage shows up and they all shoot me instantly and i died instantly and i lost the pelt I don't remember if that was exactly with the Hosea mission or if that was me going after the legendary bear on my own. I believe that was during the actual mission. So there's not as many random events like that that happen post game. There's a lot more like you'll the random stuff you'll find if you go back and watch those videos I did is like finding a dude at a campsite and just talking to him and seeing who he is as a person. Or maybe a wild animal might happen to attack you if you're lucky. There's not a whole lot that happens random event-wise post-game that I've that I experienced after playing this game. So during the main campaign and while everything's going on, 
and you go off and do things when you're not doing the main campaign, things happen. Things constantly happen, and it's very entertaining. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this. In any case, I rambled. That was, that was just me trying to get some thoughts out. Thank you for watching. And we'll continue next time with some more Red Dead 2 and other things. We'll see what happens. Very low-key day, just doing the tutorial, getting reacclimated to Red Dead 2. And I, I've had fun. I, this, I, I, I hope this keeps my interest. I think it will. We'll see. But yeah. See you later.